Hi, I'm Dan from On1 Software. I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step tour of how to get started. Now, I've assumed you've already installed the server software that you've downloaded from the On1 Software website and that you've installed the client software onto your iPhone or your iPod Touch by using iTunes App Store. The first step is to turn your camera on and plug it into your computer with a USB or FireWire cable depending on your camera. Then you'll need to start the server software. If you're on a Mac like I am, you'll just go to your Applications folder and then double click on DSLR Remote. If you're working on a Windows computer, click on the Start menu, then navigate to On1 Software and then DSLR Remote Server. When the server starts, it will display your camera here. Then click on the Choose button to choose the folder that you'd like to save your images to. All right, now it's time to get the iPhone going. First, let's make sure your iPhone is on the same network as your computer. You can do this by clicking on the Settings app from your iPhone's home screen. Make sure that Wi-Fi is enabled and then select your access point. Now, start DSLR Remote app from the home screen. Just click on its icon. When it starts, you'll see a list of camera servers. Most of the time, you'll just see one. Just click on your server to get started. All right, now we're ready to start shooting. At the bottom of your screen, you'll see an LCD screen that looks just like the one on the top of your camera. And in this upper area, you'll see a preview as you take your images. Down in the bottom, you can adjust things like shutter speed and aperture. Just click on one, you'll see the available options, and select the one you want to use. When you're ready to fire, just press the fire button. All right, that should get you started. Watch the Using the iPhone app tutorial to learn more. 